What's up everybody? Wagwan everybody. Bubba D's here and today we're going to be doing something super super amazing in the Instapot. We're going to be making a uh, curry goat. Now if you haven't already tried this before or if you've never had goat before, it's in a delicious meal. I'm going to get you started with the ingredients that you're going to need. So first off, you're going to need some pimento. You can get this fresh, grinded, it's completely up to you. Uh, you're going to need some black pepper. You're going to need some salt. You're going to need some thyme. Now, if you don't have fresh thyme, you can always use dry. You're going to need a lemon. If you don't have it fresh, you can always just use uh, lemon juice. A few onions. A few large sized potatoes. Green onion. Of course, you're gonna need some curry powder. This is the Caribbean version. Um, really, really flavorful. And you're gonna need about three pounds of goat meat with the bone in. Now, goat meat, you can probably get the shoulder or the leg is what I recommend, but we're gonna get started with the marinade. So we're gonna squeeze some lemon juice over this. We're gonna add a generous amount of uh, black pepper. We're also gonna add some uh, dry thyme and we'll put some fresh pieces of uh, thyme in there as well. Some green onions. Some oil, you can use canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever oil you got. You wanna make sure everything's well coated and a generous amount of the curry powder. You wanna fully coat everything. We're gonna let this uh, get completely tossed, put it in the fridge for three hours or longer if you have the time. And then we'll pull it out and get ready for our, our lovely meal. So that's what it looks like. Looks gorgeous. Now, in the meantime, we can get our potatoes peeled. We can get them uh, cut. We're gonna chop them up into large pieces. And these are gonna serve almost like uh, a thickener for the, for the liquid in the Instapot. I'm gonna get two onions, get them peeled, chopped as well. Everything is roughly chopped. You don't gotta be a professional chopper for this. We'll get our Instapot. We're gonna put it on saute. And we're gonna saute the meat for about five to 10 minutes. Put some nice hot oil in there and start putting down your uh, pieces of meat. Now I'm using the six quart, if you're wondering. Um, you can go ahead, get it to a, a nice little and then you're gonna add one cup of water. This is where we're gonna be adding our salt. We'll put a generous amount of salt in there as well. We're gonna go ahead and start uh, pulling some of that great stuff at the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna start adding in our potatoes and our onions. We wanna make sure that we remove everything from the bottom of the pan so then that way we never get that burn sign or status on our Instapot. And that's where most of the flavor is at the very, very bottom. So let's get everything mixed up. We're going to go ahead and put our Instapot on manual pressure for 30 minutes. And we're going to go ahead and close our lid. Now, we'll just say that everything's complete. We'll release the, the, the steam. That's what you're looking at. There is the lovely curry goat. You want to break up some of those potatoes, make the liquid a little bit thicker, and it, it's not too uh, soft, but not too tough. It is perfect. So this is what it's gonna look like when it's actually served on a plate. Put some green onions as garnish. Put some rice and peas on the side. This is the typical uh, Caribbean Jamaican style dish. 
Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you tell your friends, continue watching, post a comment. I will respond and follow me on all social medias. Thank you. Have yourself a great day and I'll see you guys next week.